in cinema and television. In fact, mm -hmm. is the CEO. Mm -hmm. See, we you know we could have got like the uh, you know vice president, publicist, whatever. No, no, no. We went right to the top. right to the top. <laughs> nice to see you. And thank you for coming on the show. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, I have to ask you, as I'm going to ask everybody who appears on the program today, where were you on um, 10 years ago tomorrow? 10 years tomorrow. I was in my house. I had it filled with Latin American filmmakers. And uh, one of them was watching CNN in the morning, and he said, you got to watch this. And so we started watching. So we stayed in the house, glued. There were about six of us, glued to the television. And then uh, we went down to the festival to see what was going on because we were all involved in the Toronto Film Festival. Mm -hmm. And it was pandemonium. And the first time in its history, the theaters went dark. Nobody knew what to do. And the, and the uh, people were trying to phone home on all the Americans. All the cell phones had collapsed so they couldn't get through. The flights were booked. They were renting cars. They were terrified. We were terrified. Everybody was terrified. Yeah. The Latinos were not running home because it's too far away. So they, they got on the uh, the blower as much as they could. And then that night uh, we went and had a huge dinner where we brought everybody together so that none of the guests who couldn't get home would have to be in a hotel room alone dealing with this because nobody knew what was going to happen. I don't, I don't think I ever felt that vulnerable in my life. It was a very scary moment. So we kind of gathered everybody together and we were just together so it's really so nobody would be alone mm -hmm. it's a too scary a time now and, and and the festival stopped it stopped the, the don't, screens don't, went dark that was and and in all the years of the festival that had never happened before. and never since they they just stopped the screenings uh and they picked them up sometime later that night but you know you had a lot of people who had bought tickets who had you know planned their days and had, you know, moved mountains to get themselves into Toronto into a position to get to the film, but the screens went dark because there was such chaos and confusion and, and fear. So everything, it just abruptly ended? It didn't yeah. restart at any point? It restarted later that night, but uh, or, or maybe it was the next day. I don't know. It was such a shocking time. The mm -hmm. staff went into shock. They had emergency me crisis meetings about what to do because you didn't want to... Uh, stop the festival. On the other hand, you had to recognize that something terrible had happened. And you had to kind of recognize that it, it, it was, the public weren't going to come because they were all going to be glued to their televisions yeah. to find out what the next chapter might be. Of course, because nobody really knew when, nobody when it was going to end. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. And, and how many of the people who had come to the festival uh, uh, were just awaiting their opportunity either by car or by bus or, or, or when the airports finally reopened a number of days later? just to go home to be with their loved ones, because everybody, so many people said the same thing, I just oh, want to be with my family and friends, right. that's all well, I they, want. They rented cars, they drove, they booked the planes, they did everything and anything to get home. Was Robert De Niro here that year? I don't remember, actually.